Hi. Now, it's a bit different today because autumn has suddenly kicked in around here, so it's not so dry and hot anymore. Today it's just been raining since about 5 o'clock this morning, and it's cold, or well, cold for here anyway. So, that hasn't stopped me. What I'm going to do today is plant some peas. Now, I'm going to show you how I grow peas, normal garden peas, like just your general pea like you get frozen and I'm going to explain why I'm why I'm planting them for this garden bed because I'm going to get two crops out of these ones. One is going to be the pea crop of course to eat the peas and the shoots and all that kind of stuff and the other thing is I want to grow them because I want to turn them back over. I'm going to grow them as a green manure crop for the garden to put a lot of nitrates back into the actual garden bed itself. Everything that's been growing in there is taking nitrogen and everything out. Peas with, will actually put it back in so by growing it as a green manure crop when I've finished all the peas have been taken off but it's still nice and green. I'm just going to chop them all down and turn them back over into the soil and let that break down and that's going to put a fair amount of nitrogen back into the soil. Alright now sorry about the distance I had to kind of put the camera back a little bit so it wasn't so much in the rain so bear with me. Now I'll show you one thing. I've got the seedlings here. Alright so I've got the seeds or seedlings I should say. You can see the little pea on there where it stems from and the actual shoot itself. Now you could actually eat that as well. Pea shoots are really nice especially in salads and what have you, you can just toss them in the salads and uh, fresh on top of uh, risotto or something like that as well and as a kind of a, a nice edible garnish. Now this is where I'll have to explain a little bit what I'm going to do. So I've got the garden bed, now you've seen this garden bed before, um, this is the one where I've got my radicchio and my green mignonette growing. So that'll keep growing in here of course, but that's a relatively fast crop. I'll be um, pulling those out in the next few weeks. So the peas are going to take a little bit longer, but I'm going to show you what I'm going to do to help them along. Right, see these sticks? Now this is just off um, a willow tree, a tortured willow. You can see how they're nice and twisted. That's how it grows. I can't remember the botanical name of it. But this is all I'm going to do, I'll show you. I'm going to put one of these in, say here, like so. Shove it in. Alright. And then I'll grab a pea, and I'll plant that, not exactly on it, but near the base. Just like that. Now I'll grab the camera and I'll show you. I'll do a couple more, just so that while you're there. Now the sticks add for two reasons, basically. One, gives the pea something to climb on. And two, it keeps the birds off, because the birds love peas. So, I'll plant another one in here. And I'll, what I'll do... I'll just have these growing in a pretty much along the edge, so they're not interfering with anything else. And as they grow, I'll just train them a little bit to go up the sticks and I'll just climb up. And then at the end, once it's all finished, I'll take the sticks away. Everything will be gone out of this garden. There's still actually some oregano or oregano and some thyme that's here too, so I'll move those. I've already moved um, the tarragon and the rosemary and then everything else will be taken out, all the lettuce will be gone. I'll harvest the peas, turn it all over and then I'll probably leave it till uh, spring, late spring and then I'll plant some stuff there. I'll let the, bean, the peas actually break down a bit from there. Alright, I'll do one more and then I'll show you what I'm what I'm actually doing. Peas are one of those things that are really easy to grow too. And there's one of those things like, you know, every vegetable's nicer if you've grown it yourself and it tastes better if it's fresh out of your garden. And don't get me wrong, 
frozen peas are quite, are quite good, I use them. But when you get fresh peas, and you've just got them out of the pod, they've still got that sweetness about them. Like they haven't been, um, you know, frozen and transported or dried or anything like that. They're quite nice just on their own. You can just eat them like you would peanuts or anything like that, basically. Like asparagus. Asparagus, when you first cut it, um, is just really sweet, completely different to what you eat. After about a couple of hours, asparagus, the sugars revert back to starch. So it goes for a little transformation. And it's still nice, but not as nice as when you first actually cut it. Now, I'll grab the camera. Sorry, it's a bit dodgy today, I know, but... So you can just see, I've just got the pea here, the stick, there's another one there. Now I'll do them all along here, all along this bed. So the whole thing will be like a, a teepee of sticks, so the birds won't go in there, and the peas will be nice and safe. Cool. I'll come back in a few weeks. I'll be back to harvest the radicchio and the mignonette. You can see it's coming along. So you'll see it anyway, and I'll show you how I'm going with the peas. But peas are really great because of the nitrogen in them, they deliver that back into the soil and that puts back the nitrogen that every other plant, pretty much, vegetable that you're going to grow needs because they take it all out, the peas will put it back in. You can grow a lot of different things as um, green manure cops, lucerne and different legumes and stuff like that. But peas are really easy. Cool. Any questions? Um, peas, snow peas, any kind of you know beans, stuff like that, just give me a yell. Cool. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.